You know, it's actually a good thing that they chose to use Uber as their promotional partner for this movie and not Lyft. Why? Otherwise, this movie would be called Stiffed. Oh, it's letting you know the direction this review is going to go in. Pretty much. What's up, guys? We're the Cinefanatics. My name is Chris Adams. And I'm Robert Adams. And we are here today for a review of Random Comedy of the Summer. Stuber. Stuber. Uh, so, quick back background on this. Uh, first of all, no spoilers, but we actually saw this movie back at South by Southwest back in March. Yeah. Uh, it was it was referred to as a work in progress. Like it was actually up on the marquee of the Paramount work in progress. Uh, basically, from what we were able to determine, what that meant at that time was the movie was completely done. Uh, there were just a couple of graphics, like when they show close-ups of someone holding a cell phone, the graphics on the phone mm-hmm. weren't completely done, and there was no end credits. So it's... the movie just kind of ended, and lights came up, and that was it. That usually just means a few minor things in post-production haven't, hasn't been completed yet. Yeah, but uh, for all intents and purposes, the movie was done, so we feel that it, it, it's good enough to be able to give an accurate review mm-hmm. of this movie based on what we saw. Yeah. At no time when we were leaving did anyone like ask us like well what did you think of the movie did you think anything should change so therefore they were done they were yeah. done with that movie but they might have been gauging like laughter from the audience in different parts to see which jokes kind of ran which jokes fell flat it's usually if you get like a big audience at a premiere like that and the joke is not funny or the joke is funny You'll, you'll get a good gauge from that kind of an audience at the premiere. Yeah, so we went to this. Essentially, it was still considered like a, a premiere of sorts. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got to see, uh, was it the director, Michael Douse, mm-hmm. uh, a known for award-winning work like Take Me Home Tonight <laughs> and the F word. Fudge. The other F word. Actually, I don't know if that's what that movie's about. I haven't seen Friday. that. But, um, and then, of course, we also got Kumal Nanjiani and Batista on stage yeah to talk about this movie afterwards so uh also what was really interesting is they did an entire like group selfie of everyone in the theater uh you can check out the stuber twitter account look back at uh when it was at uh when it was at south by southwest you'll see us there or i could just put the picture up i guess i have that ability here hey look look, there we are oh cool yeah anyways uh Crazy celebrities getting in our selfie shot. Photo bombing us. Yeah. Yeah, so this movie, uh, it is a comedy. Basic story premise is Stu, played by Kamal Nanjiani, is an Uber driver. And then you have, he meets this cop friend throughout this movie. <laughs> a cop inadvertently uh, has gotten laser eye surgery and can't drive. Yeah. Uh, so he has to take an Uber and therefore he is basically strong-arming Stu to drive him around during this entire investigation thing. That's quite personal to him. It's basically a series of completely unrealistic and unfortunate events and circumstances. Not Lemony Snicket's unfortunate events, but just saying that there's a bunch of just random happenstance things that this all... like, Like, a cop would never actually take an Uber to go anywhere, regardless of what what's happening yeah this so, is just the weirdest of circumstances of this whole story so yeah i mean it's, it's a premise that is you have you do have to uh, suspend some disbelief in order to buy into what's happening and the nice thing i will say about that is they knew that there yeah. are definitely some jokes in there uh particularly about cars and stuff that happens to cars that I think kind of like reveals, okay, look, we knew we're not taking this seriously, but... Yeah, they leaned into it, they owned up to it. Yeah. Uh, That being said, I did think that at some points it was a little too forced in the story. I mean, it's just a really awkward situation, and completely, I would say, like, however many... However many views Doctor Strange saw of the outcome of Endgame, <laughs> it's about one in that many, 14 yeah, billion, 14, some, yeah. something like that. Yeah, 14 million. It's like, about like yeah. that many chances of this circumstance actually happening. So it's completely yeah. unreal. But, I mean, like we said, I kind of like that they lean into it a bit, but still. I mean, eh. that, that's, that's your setup for a comedy. If you have a completely outlandish and crazy situation, there's your premise for a comedy. Mm-hmm. Um and so, you know, we have, going into this, we have Kumal Nanjiani, who is a comedian. He's known for his his funny stories, for his, his stand-up, for his just 
Uh, I think he's really is known most from Silicon Valley at first, and then Big Sick, and then Big Sick, which coming we up. highly recommend that movie. If you haven't seen Big Sick, what do you stop? Oh. Turn off our review and just go watch it. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Um, and then you have Batista, who came from the wrestling world. Uh, but has gotten his comedic chops stretched a little bit while playing Drax in Guardians of the Galaxy. Which is pretty much what's carrying him into this movie. Everyone has loved Drax, and yeah. they're like, you know what, let's partner these two people up together. It's that, on top of that, he is choosing, he's actually picking and choosing roles now. Like He's been very forward about saying like he wants to be taken seriously as an actor and doing different doing different things. So he's trying out comedies. You know, he had a part in Blade Runner 2049, so mm-hmm. there's that. And then, yeah, so you, now you have these two, which are a completely unlikely pairing. And that's usually when you have like a buddy cop sort of movie, that's what you want, is you want somebody who is one way, somebody who's a completely different way, and they, have, they clash against each other. You have uh, Stu, who is kind of like a... He's supposed to be colored as this pansy man baby or whatever, mm-hmm. or whatever term you want to use for that. And then you have yeah, Dave Batista, who is just uh, just like completely angry all the time. I'm a man type character. Yeah. And it's it's a it's a balance between what is what is what represents manhood. What is a man supposed to do and act like essentially? I think per- pretty much the driving force of this movie is the fact that these two have been paired together. Yeah. I mean, the whole movie is just a vehicle, an Uber vehicle, to put these two together and just play scenarios and lines off of each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, just different situations. Some of them get like really wildly out of hand. Yeah. Uh, some of them really do kind of push the limits to that R rating that was in this movie. Um, so... Yeah, uh, there's some fun banter. I kind of like the comedy between them. The stuff that they show in the trailer, which come to find out, so so quick background on that too, we actually saw the movie before the first trailer came out. Yeah. Therefore, we skipped the trailer reaction because we're like, yep, we saw that. We've seen the movie. The reaction. You're not going to get an honest reaction out of that. Yeah, so, I mean, that was still (laughs) funny seeing what parts they did put into the trailer. Yeah. So, they put some good parts in the trailer, some... Some stuff that really did show and kind of carry the movie as it should be presented. So I think that was a very accurate portrayal of of the movie in the trailer. But honestly, I'm going to say it was was a pretty basic comedy. It did have some good parts to it. I think some of the humor between the two of them worked out very well. Uh, The action scenes were just like completely over the top which yeah. again is back into the story leaning into how absurd they know it is yeah exactly so i mean when it comes down to it it's it is it's an enjoyable movie it's 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 fun it's it's entertaining um it's like it's one of those movies i would say where you know i i actually i did enjoy it i thought it was pretty decent but it's one of those movies where if you're if you have a tight movie going budget for this summer which Considering all the crazy big movies coming out this summer, if your budget's a little bit tight on as to which movies you go see, <clears throat> this is one of those you can skip. However, if you're into just chilling out in the theater, getting out of that heat, and just, eh, I just want to go turn my brain off and laugh at a movie for an hour and a half, two hours, this is a pretty good one just to just to shut everything down and get some get some yuck yucks in. Mm-hmm. Go to a movie theater if you got a theater that uh, has like you can get a couple of beers or something. Just relax, watch this, enjoy yourself. This is yeah. a good movie for for that. Um, but it's not going to be an award winning movie. <laughs> yeah, and it's not going to be. I mean, this will be a movie that I feel like really will just come and go and. At some point, someone was like, "You remember that Stuber movie? Yeah, oh, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would say out of like, let's say five Uber logos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. stick with the theme there. Um, I give this two. I mean, yeah. I mean, as far as it goes, it's it is a comedy. It's 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 it is kind of a just a basic." Here's here's a buddy cop comedy kind of a thing, and it's a, a unique, interesting, crazy, out there premise. Uh, I mean, for for a, as a comedy goes, I would give it probably a three, just kind of like middle middle of the pack there. So, yeah, if you want to see it, it's one of those movies. If you want to see it, go see it. If you don't, 
worry about it. Wait for later. Wait for digital or digital video or, or whatever. Yeah. Wait for your buddy to rent it and invite you over and just take a six pack over there. <laughs> just yeah. Help, Basically. help him out. He, Basically. He's the one who spent money on that movie. Yep. Uh, anyway, so that's going to be it for this review. Have you seen Stuber yet? Uh, we're releasing this review early, so they're probably Pro- probably not. Unless you yet. got to a unless you got to an early screening, in which case, uh, which they did do a lot of those. You don't probably need a review at this point. But. Yeah. Uh, but once you've seen Stuber, what did you think of it? Let us know down below. What did you think of this review? Let us know about that also. Uh, and if you like this review, make sure you hit like. If you didn't like this review, how you doing? I'm the uh, Lyft driver that you called to take home your girlfriend. I expect a five star rating, you understand? Make sure I get a five star rating, Junior. Anyways, above our heads, there is a subscribe button that you can subscribe to our channel, which we have movie reviews and trailer reactions. Over here off to the side are a couple other videos that we have made. And as always, you know, it's a good thing that his name wasn't Lou in this movie. Why? I'll tell you later. Oh, okay. Later. See ya. Luber.